Hi everyone, so you guys have been asking me so many questions about the course as well as the university. So this is a Q&A session where I'll be informing you about what is information system and how you can get into this degree. So if you're actually doing your A-levels right now, I can help you to choose the subjects you need to do in order to get into the university. Or if you have finished your A-levels, this video will be helpful for you in order to choose this course as your preference. And if you just got selected to information systems or computer science in the University of Colombo, this might be useful for you because I know that you're so curious about the course and when it'll start and all that so I'll be able to help you with that. So let's get started. So the first question that is most commonly asked is that what is the information systems degree? What is it about? There are other definitions in Google, you can search it up, but to me basically it is a mix of business and computing. Especially in the University of Columbus School of Computing, since it is offered by the Faculty of Computing, which is the School of Computing, they call it for some other reason, they make the degree program more into computing rather than business. Because there are universities that have this course under their management faculty, but this one, since it's in the computing faculty, 60% of the course is related to computing and 40% is related to the business. And another main question is, if you have just finished your A-levels, maybe if you're 2024 batch, you have the question that when the intake will start, when you can get into the university. So for me, it took like around one and a half years to get into the university because they usually get the intake in May. So if you just got selected, most probably you will get to join on 2026 May or April by the end of April or May. Usually that's how it works. So once our first semester and second semester ends, the next intake will be there. So there is like one year or one and a half year gap for you guys. What I would suggest is that you go to any internships or something related to IT or whatever that your passion is. So I used to work at a company and it helped me a lot with improving my professional skills as well as my communication skills. So that leads us to another question that how I improve my communication skills. So basically I never did any diplomas or anything so I just watch movies a lot, quite a lot. So I don't even read books because reading books is the next step to improve your English language because if you just get the basic idea how it works, like how emotions are expressed in the language, you can improve your vocabulary by reading books. So I haven't done it yet. I still need some improvement in my language, in my vocabulary. So I'm still improving by reading the book. But at this point, if you're really low in your language skills, what you have to do is just watch a lot of movies. And another thing that helped me was I joined as an admissions executive in a company. So that company is mainly about speaking to clients. So basically in English. So I had to speak to clients from UK. So I improved my language skills and communication skills through that. And I was also able to get experience on how the corporate world works. Works. It will be a really good opportunity for you if you just join your work or even part time is fine if you just want to do any courses or educational if you're gonna like increase your academic qualifications you can do a part time work as well but I suggest you to do something whatever that interests you just go on that path and do an internship related to that so it will be helpful for you rather than wasting the one and a half years waiting for the university thinking it will start because it will actually start by the end of April. And another question that is most commonly asked is that is there ragging in the University of Colombo? There's no ragging in the University of Colombo. I can 100% assure you that as a first year. So I haven't finished my first semester yet, but I can assure you that because they are strictly against it. But there are certain rules that you need to follow when you're in the university. It's because you have to get accustomed to all the procedures that's happening and just so that you don't disturb any operational activities in University of Colombo. So that basically sums it up. And another one of those frequently asked questions is that what stream I need to be in to enter the information system degree. So basically you can be in any stream but you should have taken ICT as a subject. So the thing is there are universities that only accept if you choose a certain course in your A-level subject. There are some universities that restrict the students by their subject. So there's this book called the UGC book and which you have to refer to if you are changing streams or if you are selecting the subjects you need for your A-levels. Fun fact, I was in biology for two years. Right before there was six months for the final exam, I switched my stream to arts with ICT. I actually took like three new subjects. So I previously did biology, chemistry, physics, but I switched all of them to ICT, media and a language subject. I managed to get three A's yet. If I had known, I could have selected some subjects better. There are certain criteria that you can apply that is only in this book. 
So please refer to that book if you are changing streams. And if you have any siblings who are doing their O-levels or doing their A-levels and want to switch streams, just let them know to refer to this book or you can suggest them to watch my channel because I'll be sharing more of my horrible experiences in changing streams and about my career choices because most of the choices I made were questionable. So, and if you relate to this, and if you are struggling with the stream you have selected right now, stay tuned because I have an upcoming video about that to explain it to you that it's not too late to change. So back to the Q&A, there's another question that what is the Z score needed to enter this specific degree, which is also in the UTC book. So there is a specific page that you can refer to. There are different Z scores for different districts, which you can refer to this in this book. So if you get a little bit higher than that, you have the chance to enter in that particular year. So that pretty much sums up this q and I just wanted to give you guys all the details you need because 2024 batch has just got selected to the universities. So you would have received messages about you have been selected and all. So you guys are really curious about it. If you have more questions, you can just let me know in the comments again. And I will try my best to reply to that. Hope this video was useful to you guys. And if you want me to talk about any specific topic about this or your CSC or your studies or your A-levels or about changing streams, pretty much anything, just drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you feel weird about it, just follow me on my socials and you can directly DM me on Instagram or TikTok. So that you guys just did it. I'll see you guys in the next video.